Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to learn how to convert temperature given in Celsius into Fahrenheit and temperature given in Fahrenheit into Celsius. We are going to solve many questions to understand these concepts. So make sure you watch the entire video. So let's start and first understand how to convert temperature given in Fahrenheit into Celsius. So the formula to convert the temperature given in Fahrenheit to Celsius is 5 by 9 multiplied by Fahrenheit minus 32. So, this formula has two parts. First, we do subtraction and then multiply the result with 5 by 9. So, let's do some questions based on this. Question is, convert 50 degree Fahrenheit into Celsius. So, here students, we are given temperature in Fahrenheit and we have to convert it into Celsius. As I just told you, the formula to convert temperature given in Fahrenheit into Celsius is 5 by 9 into Fahrenheit minus 32. So, let's put the value of temperature in Fahrenheit in this formula. We get 5 by 9 multiplied by 50 minus 32. Now first we will do subtraction here and then multiply the result with 5 by 9. So 50 minus 32 is 18. So we get 5 by 9 into 18. Let's simplify it. We get 5 into 2 which is equals to 10. So, answer is 10 degree Celsius. It means 50 degree Fahrenheit equals to 10 degree Celsius. Let's do next question. Convert 95 degree Fahrenheit into Celsius. So again, let's use the same formula and put the value of Fahrenheit in this formula. We get 5 by 9 into 95 minus 32. First, we will do subtraction. So 95 minus 32 equals to 63. So we get 5 by 9 into 63. Simplify it and we get 5 into 7 which is equals to 35. So answer is 35 degree Celsius. 95 degree Fahrenheit equals to 35 degree Celsius. Next question is, convert 482 degree Fahrenheit into Celsius. So, let's use the formula and put the value of Fahrenheit here. 5 by 9 into 482 minus 32. Let's do the subtraction and we get 5 by 9 into 400. 50. Simplify it and we get 5 into 50 which is equals to 250. So, answer is 250 degree Celsius. It means 482 degree Fahrenheit equals to 250 degree Celsius. Now students, I am sure you have learned the conversion of 
Fahrenheit into Celsius. Now let's move and understand how to convert temperature given in Celsius into Fahrenheit. The formula to convert temperature given in Celsius into Fahrenheit is 9 by 5 into Celsius plus 32. So, this formula also has two parts. Here, first we will do multiplication and then we will add 32 to it. So, let's see how to use it to solve the questions. Question is, convert 10 degree Celsius into Fahrenheit. So, here we are given with temperature in Celsius and we have to convert it into Fahrenheit. As I just told you, to do the same, we have to use the formula 9 upon 5 into Celsius plus 32. So, let's put the value of temperature in Celsius here and we get 9 upon 5 into 10 plus 32. First, we will solve 9 by 5 into 10. So, simplify it and we get 9 into 2 plus 32. Now, 9 into 2 is 18. So, we get 18 plus 32. Now, we will add them and we get 50. So, answer is 50 degree Fahrenheit. It means 10 degree Celsius equals to 50 degree Fahrenheit. Next question is convert 50 degree Celsius into Fahrenheit. So, let's use the formula and put the value of Celsius here. We get 9 by 5 into 50 plus 32. So, first we will solve 9 by 5 into 50. Simplify it and we get 9 into 10 plus 32. Now, solve this multiplication. 9 into 10 is 90. And then we will add 32 to 90. We get 122. So, answer is 122 degree Fahrenheit. Now, last question is convert 270 degree Celsius into Fahrenheit. So, let's use the formula and put the value of Celsius here. We get 9 by 5 into 270 plus 32. Let's solve this first. So, simplify it and we get 9 into 54 plus 32. And 9 into 54 is 486. Add 32 to it and we get 518. So, answer is 518 degree Fahrenheit. It means 270 degree Celsius equals to 518 degree Fahrenheit. So, students, now I am sure you have understood how to convert temperature given in Celsius into Fahrenheit as well as the temperature given in Fahrenheit into Celsius. In the end, I am giving you a worksheet for your practice. So, students, solve this worksheet and mention your answers below in the comment box. Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.